Adam Long is a part of a very small club. Guys who went to a St. Louis high school and got a PGA Tour card. We believe only seven total. Long came in this week to raise money for PGA Reach. He's our spotlight piece. So with the help of photographer Randy Schwenker, we give you the Adam Long story. It started with a touch of bewilderment, moved to enjoyment, and ended on total fulfillment. Adam Long was a PGA champion for the first time. You know, my wife was there, my dad was there, and you know, you think of, immediately think of all the people that have helped you get to that point. Um, you know, it's a very individual game. It's, it's just my name on the leaderboard, but there's so many people that go into that. Like Adam's teaching pro since he was nine years old, Brian Fote, who Adam immediately texted after the victory. I couldn't have done it without your unwavering support the last 20 plus years. I know he was there watching uh, on TV like, like a lot of people were, and I just wanted to make sure that he knew that I appreciated everything that he did for me to, uh, to get to that, that point. Adam Long was practically born with a club in his hands. He was shooting par in middle school and was offered a scholarship at Duke when he was a sophomore at Francis Howe. He always had that swing, that perfect tempo swing that was honed with so many self-imposed hours all alone on the range. And that feeling when that swing was perfect? It's the best feeling in the world, honestly. It's, uh, you, you just feel like you don't have to try. You don't have to think. You don't have to force it. You, um, it it's kind of, come, it comes to you. Everything, the fairways seem wide. The water's not even there. The hole seems bigger on putts, sure. Um, you just feel like you're always gonna play that way. You feel like it's, that's just how it is from now on. You just, you figured it out, you got it. However, so do a lot of others. So it wasn't Duke and then on to stardom on the PGA Tour. It was eight years of trying to make the tour. He thought he was going to make it in 2011 at tour qualifying school. After four or five rounds, I was doing all right and I was still in the mix and had an awful sixth round, final round. And that bumped me into having conditional status on the, on the Corn Ferry Tour. And that was a really beat up moment where I felt like three days ago, I was thinking I was gonna be on the PGA Tour and here we go. To, uh, I'm barely going to get into Corn Ferry of Tour events, so it's very cutthroat out on, on, on the professional golf circuit. There's so many great players and just not enough places to play. Long made it in 2019, and at the Desert Classic in La Quinta, his sixth career start, he brought his complete game. On 18 with Phil Mickelson lurking, he hit a six iron with the ball below his feet in dormant grass, 14 feet from the stick. His thoughts as he approached that final putt. I remember just kind of being over it, saying to myself, just just feel like it's Thursday. Feel like it's one of the first few putts of the day. And uh, and that's what I did. So I was really in the moment and really, you know, I'd been putting well all week. So just tried to, to do the same process that I'd been doing. And, and it went in and I don't know, it went crazy after that. Long's birdie on the final hole beat Mickelson and Adam Hadwin by a shot. Wow. The success has continued. Adam's already over a million this year in earnings and over five million in his career. And let it be known, Adam Long has a nice level-headed approach. I don't compare myself to, to Rory or Bryson or those other guys. Uh, I just want to be the best Adam Long that I can be and focus on, on my own game and my own team and, and just try to keep getting a little bit better.